Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the mechanical hard drive in your laptop to a Samsung solid state hard drive. The first thing you need to do is install Samsung's data migration software. You can get this from the CD included with the hard drive or download it from Samsung's website. Next you need to connect the SSD to your laptop. I'm just going to use this old external hard drive enclosure I have lying around. And turn on the power. Wait for Windows to detect it. Next you need to open the data migration software. Select start and it will display your boot drive here and the solid state drive here. If you have more than one partition on the drive you can add the additional partitions here. I'm not going to add the other partition and then all you need to do is click start it will inform you that it will erase all the data on the solid state drive click yes then just sit back and wait for it to load all the data onto the SSD okay so now that's finished we get to this screen it says the data on the source disk has been successfully cloned to your Samsung SSD it took around half an hour for my computer to do it. Yours might be a bit faster or a bit slower, depending how much data you have. Next, you can click on quit and shut down the computer. After the computer's shut down, you can turn off the power here and disconnect the SSD. Next, we'll replace the mechanical hard drive with the SSD. Most laptops have a panel on the bottom to remove to replace the hard drive. If you're unsure how to replace your hard drive, you would look on Google for how to do it or contact the laptop manufacturer. The first thing we're going to do is remove the battery and then remove the cover. Mine just has little clips that hold it in. Sometimes they've got screws. And find the hard drive. Mine's located here. We've got four screws holding the hard drive in. I'll remove them next to carefully take the hard drive mounting bracket out. Careful the wires are still attached. And we'll remove the hard drive from the bracket. Under the solder and power connector, and 
get the SSD, connect the connector, put the bracket back in place. Don't drop the screws too tight, you only need to make them just nice and snug. Put the hard drive back in place, put the wires back where they go properly. Put little screws in. And put the cover back on. Put the battery back in. And ready to boot it up. Okay, first boot with the new SSD. Yeah, the next thing you need to do is optimize windows for the SSD. Oops, have to restart first. Okay. We use the Samsung Magician software. You can download it from the Samsung website or it's on the disk that comes with the SSD. First thing we're going to do is go to OS optimization. Here you have several options. You have maximum performance, maximum capacity, maximum reliability, and advanced lets you decide which ones you want to use yourself. I'm going to use maximum performance. I click apply. Click OK. Next thing I'm going to do is wait for my computer to reboot
Yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is enable rapid mode. Click OK. Restart the computer again. And check the firmware has got the current version. Mine already has the current firmware. And that's it. We're done. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped you. Have a great day.